Hey what's up seeders and welcome to a game called The Crypt. You can actually see it because my face is in the way. Whoop. Okay, transform horizontally. There we go. See? The Crypt. So apparently this is a game where we're in a spaceship. And that's all I know about this game. Anyway, new game please. Ah, hi. Kinda like Resident Evil. Uh, the ISS Treven, a Class C freight vessel on a route cargo run, fails to arrive at its destination at Sebelus Tree. After repeated failed attempts to contact it, the GIS Trade Federation reports it's missing. Ah, like Dead Space. 72 hours later, the Traven is found drifting near a fringe system. It is thousands of clicks off course. Ah. Oh. Its primary power system are offline and its comm channels is silent. Its thrusters dead. Just like the crew. Are we gonna... There is no perceived activity on board. Are we gonna try and fix it like Isaac did with the Ishimura? Its crew members remain unreachable. Ooh, spooky. Ah, oh, here we go. We're gonna try and fix it. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I'm actually piloting. Incoming transmission. Oh, hi. When you look at that, a Generation 1 BT manufactured freight vessel. Never thought I'd see one of those still operational. That ship's practically a relic. I'm mm -hmm. surprised the FCA renewed its registration. So, you got the brief, right? Mm -hmm. The ship didn't turn up at the Zebulus 3 spaceport. Uh -huh. A couple of days later, a merchant freight transporting minerals to the expo belt spots it on Ladar. Mm -hmm. It appears to have lost power and coasted a couple hundred thousand clicks off its original course. Mm -hmm. No comms, no signs of the crew. Looks like they abandoned ship. <sighs> Can't say I blame them. The GIS fines for delayed shipments due to avoidable technical faults are brutal. They would have wiped oh, out wait. the crew's pay for months. Abandoning the ship and claiming that their lives were at risk due to a technical failure gets them off the hook because the insurance sorry, companies sorry. take the hit. And with a ship that old, it'd be hard to prove otherwise. The system's messed up, what can I say? Now we're left to clean up the mess and file the paperwork. The Traven's crew is still at large, but our patrols will find them. They're probably at a Katina somewhere in this sector. We'll try to get the truth out of them, but I don't have much hope. You know the drill. Once you're on the ship, head to the bridge and extract all the primary logs you can get. Any evidence we can find to tell us what actually happened will help us close this quicker. I'll call you as soon as you're inside. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Sorry, I blocked her face. But this game is cool! It has animation, it has voice acting? Hot damn! Oh, I like the ambiance. It's so pretty! Oh, it's not wonky at all! Oh my god. Hello? So, oh, hi! The bad news first. The schematics we have on file for this ship's model are so old, they're obsolete. BT stopped making these in 09, and it's been modded beyond recognition over the years. So, you'll have no nav map assistance on your HUD on this mission. Sorry about that. Oh! The good news, however, is that this ship's layout should be pretty rudimentary. This maintenance hall should lead you out to the ship's primary quarters and then to the bridge. But Take the large bay door up ahead and keep moving towards the front of the ship. Um... Since the primary power is down, a lot of the subsystems won't be operational, but most doorways should still work. I'll check back with you in a bit. I'm gonna see what I can dig up on the crew. Might give us a clue to what actually happened here. Um... But I, I, I don't know the layout of any kind of ship. What? Also, your name is Pretty? Huh. Pretty? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's kind of look like this space. Ooh. Ah. Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. Access? Override door security. This door access panel is secured by a biocode encrypted keycard access. Proceed with decryption to override. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
one crypto key required. Oh, okay. So I need it's it's like a regular horror game. You need to grab keys. Oh hi, pretty. More bad news. Uh huh. The security systems on this relic are so archaic. Your override tools master key bank doesn't have its decryption. Sequence. Oh crap. I don't think our algorithms go back that far, but that's not a problem. You'll just have to find a terminal on the ship's network that's still online, and then you can mine crypto keys to complete the missing chains. Mm -hmm. You can also be able to pull out encrypted messages from the comm system, which will be helpful. Hold uh, on, I'm okay. adding a crypto keychain module to your tool belt now. Okay, 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 um... Hello? I heard noises. Am I gonna get a plasma cutter here or am I just going to hide? Is it like amnesia? Hello? Hello? Oh, terminal. Uh, this terminal is online and connected to the local data network. Proceed with crypto key mining, yes. Oh god, I'm mining cryptocurrencies. No, crypto key, not cryptocurrencies. Injecting mining ware. Okay, please stand by. Ah, I got one. Ooh, nice. Oh, they're in the ship. That's what Manu said yesterday at the mess hall. I noticed he wasn't eating, just staring fixedly at his food. His face was pallid. He told me he wasn't sleeping well. The noises. Don't you hear them, he said. Noises, I said. The thuds, the groans, he said. They're coming from the very heart of this vessel. I told him that I heard them too, that we all did, and that we were just the sound of bones of this old ship. Oh, the bones of this old ship settling. I thought <laughs> the bones of humans, okay. The tectonic ships of the metal plates long past their prime. I highly doubt that because you wouldn't be flying this hunk of junk if that were the case. It needs to be sealed tight in order to be space -borne. But he seemed to barely register what I said. When he looked at me, his eyes had a fixed quality that I didn't much care for, he said. They're on the ship. Just that one cryptic sentence. What are on the ship? I want you to see him, Doc. I'm worried about him. He hasn't been himself since we started this run. God damn it. There's a bunch of aliens in here, isn't L to access your journal? Okay. Nice. Hello? They're on the ship. So um should we go into control first or here? I want to go to control first. Yes. Mm hmm Yay! I'm out of keys. Hi, hello. I love this game. It, ca it kind of feels like amnesia and dead space at the same time. And I just love it, man. I just love it. Okay, they're all offline, except for one. Okay, let's see what secrets you have. Yes. Okay. Terminal 4 is still crapped out. I swear, this junkyard ship is falling apart. The power fluctuations, it's aliens, they're in the ship, and the network failures are growing worse. We flipped back and forth to backup power a dozen times already. Since we left Nagari at this rate, we won't make it halfway to Sebulus. So the temporary power rig you set up for Terminal 4 is still missing a power cell. Do I need to find that? You told me you'd put one in yesterday, I guess you forgot. Can't say I blame you, what with all this shit going down. Could you replace a cell, please? There's a spare in the locker in storage. The locker code is 4121. 
do I need to remember that? Okay, 4121, I just need to remember that. Ah, uh, I know, I know, I know. Did you guys hear that? Oh my god, I need to put it here. Okay. Crystal clear. I'm guessing this thing would power up if I put it there. Okay, okay. Yes, please. La la di, la 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 la. Uh, oh, two crypto keys is required. Um. Um, okay. But, uh, uh is, is there another one in here? No, they're all offline, though. Oh, this thing. Oh, no, no, it's offline as well. Am I missing something? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I saw a locker in here. You're the locker, right? Okay. Um, 4121. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, here we go, boys. Here we go. The spooks are here. I'm guessing an enemy is gonna drop down here. As soon as we get the thing open, and then we're gonna run for our lives. Ah, okay. That's more like it. Yes, please. Why do I go for my enter button? Okay, transmit it. Manu's condition concerns me. He vacillates between nervous energy and a kind of a sullen silence. His pronouncements are growing increasingly dire and nonsensical, and he exhibits a high degree of paranoia. Mmm, there we go. He says they are down in the cargo hold. He seems to be withdrawing into himself. Doc saw him earlier. He said he'll give me an update soon. It's odd how Manu is so troubled by those noises. They are, to be honest, disconcerting. Is that Jorge? I'm gonna guess it's Jorge. Jorge said that the sounds have a way of resonating in an old ship like this. He says they're likely originating from the cargo hold below, where the ship's core structural spine is and traveling through the air ducts. Next. Nia, any luck on those records? I want anything you can get on the history of this ship. Who owned it before Navo? Who was the last crew? How long since its FCA approval and so on. We know the ship is pre... Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Guarat War, which makes it about half an ES century old. The bizarre power fluctuations and the randomly failing subsystem bode ill. The ship was perfectly alright when we left Nagari. If they dumped a crippled vessel on us to balance their books, I'm going to have heads roll at the GS... GIS. Okay. I won't risk the lives of my crew for the sake of their stupid corporate fuckery. Wait, wait. You mean to tell me something was locked in the power cell or power core? Of the ship? Oh shit! 
Low light detected. Shoot flashlight. Oh fuck. Oh no, I hate it. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Pretty near. I'm scared. Success. Okay, security guard disabled. Oh, oh no. Do you see that? I see that. What the heck is that? I. Oh, it's just. No, no, please. Oh, I told you. I told you. There was something in here. There is something in here. Okay. Okay. Hello? Oh my god. Ah, uh, sure, sure. Close more lights on me. I hate it. I hate it. I hate everything about it. And yet, I love it. Ah, uh, yes. Mine it, please. Wait, what? Username? Please stand by. Mm-hmm. Okay. Story. Uh, this is from Jorge Charian to Captain Aaron Dravid. I've tried everything, boss, but I'm not able to figure out the power issue. All systems are testing fine on our maintenance tools. It's fucking infuriating. And now we have these leaks. I have no clue what, what was the foul-smelling green stuff. Off. Okay. Coming out of vents. Oh, they they also come out vents. Rico say it looks and smells like the acid fertilizers they use on the fields in his home world. But that's ridiculous. We ain't carrying any such thing in our cargo. And even if we were, and if there was a leak from one of those containers, the stuff wouldn't flow into our airflow system. It's in the vents. And. Also, I don't know how to say this, boss, but the crew are a bit jittery. This is just a small vessel, there's just 10 of us, and it's not like this is our first run. Some of these guys have been on this past the Sven system, but this ship has some bad mojo. Okay, the way Man is going off, he said, and now Rico says he saw something yesterday in the corridor. He looked shook, and you know Rico is as steady as a stone. And always thinks he's right. So I went and checked. I didn't see anything. Not then, but the day before, while I was serving the vents, I swear I saw something moving up there in the dark. Look, I don't know, boss. I hate to sound like a greenfoot, but I ain't at ease either. There's something about this ship that ain't right. And my sleep ain't working. I keep waking up and I can't remember what woke me. Wait, wait, wait. From the stuff I'm gathering here. There is an eldritch creature in your power core. What was it doing there? Did the previous owner trap it in there and use this um Okay. Is this like amnesia? Am I going to have to hide? I'm so freaking slow. How can I hide at this pace? Oh, hi, hello! Uh, uh, hey! Sure, you're gonna clean up first before I enter? How hospitable of you! Ah, uh, oh, another locker. I need to get the code, please. Por favor. Okay. Okay. Terminal. Scan. Ah, uh, okay, stand by. Uh. Next. Aaron, or Arun, I had Mano come in today. He tried to avoid the appointment which I was expecting, so I had Nia escort him here. It's hard to say no to Nia. Haha, <laughs> you're right. It's shocking how sickly he looks. 
He didn't talk at first and when he finally did, he asked, no, he begged me for some Tacrozoxane 500, better known as Blank Slate. Amnesia? Among the wreck drug kids and as deep out by the guys in the military. Okay, but I digress. When I told him we can't issue out a sedative that strong without any good reason, he said he sure as hell had a good reason. I haven't slept in days, he said. Why not? I said. Having bad dreams? The reason I asked him that because I had two others come in with the same complaint, he said yes, I think so. I asked him what the dreams were about. He said he couldn't remember, but I sensed he was being evasive. I probed, he said. They're in here with us. Who? I asked. At first he didn't reply. He stared in the corner of the room and at the beds. Finally, he turned to me and his eyes locked with mine and said, We should never have set foot on this ship. We shouldn't be here. Now I'm invested. I must admit, that chill went down my spine. Something about this whole business is troubling. I checked with his vitals and they were fine. His blood pressure is a little bit higher than normal but I wouldn't have been surprised if it weren't. He lost some weight and he's exhausted but at least physically he's fine. His condition appears to be a result of sustained levels of high anxiety bordering on paranoia. I prescribe a half dozen dose of Roxan. I don't I don't know how to pronounce that. He popped the pills right here before I could stop him, so I sent him to his room. He was so distracted that he left his access key on the network data and dash data room here. I asked Nia to move it to the locker in stock so someone can pick it up in case we weren't here. Nia reset the code. It's now 1109. Okay, there we go. Thanks, Doc. I'm really excited for this game i like the world i like the ambience i like the sound it's so rumbly kind of like a mixture of dead space and amnesia it's genius it's pure genius what was that 11909 okay crap what was that i forgot i was so i was having so much fun with this game that i forgot wait it's 1109 i i was right wasn't I? 1109 Is there another locker? I asked Nia to move into the locker in stock so someone can pick it up in case you weren't here She reset the code, it's now 1109 Is there another locker? Okay, there's another room here, I think. Yeah, there's another room. That. Oh, it requires two. Okay, that's strange. Uh, oh, here we go, and data. Uh, what? Here? It requires three, what the heck? Where am I supposed to get another one? Is there another terminal here? Um, excuse le moi. I don't see no terminal. Asper. Okay, dogs. Did I miss something? 
Should I go back? Oh, wait, I can't go back. Right? Oh, it's offline. But where am I supposed to get the other one, though? Oh, there's another locker here. Is that one one zero nine? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, access card. Okay, here we go. Scan it. Okay, proceed to mining. Also, it reminds me a bit of Subnautica because we're exploring a broken ship here and there's something that wants to kill us. I like it. Okay, from Rico Hernandez to Captain Aaron Dravid. Cap, the security systems are failing one by one. We've got doors suddenly completely inoperable and then they return to normalcy. Minutes later, for no apparent reason, the system diagnostics reveal nothing. I'm switching all doors from bio rec to manual access keys. The others aren't going to like it, but till we figure out what's causing this, I'd feel better if we keep the protocols basic. I suspect the green fluid that's coming out of the vents is seeping into the ship's electronics, although if that were so, everything would be short-circuiting out by now. Jorge is doing his best to keep the docks clean, but the stuff just keeps coming back, and it's driving him crazy. I don't mean to cry doom, but the way things are going, it's possible that all primary systems may fail before we reach Sebulus. If you ask me, the ship should never have left Nagari, but I saw the GIS reports with my own eyes before we left. They cleared the ship to take off, and their diagnostics were legit. All systems were a go. 20 years in ship system ops. I've never seen anything like this. It just doesn't make any sense. Something is seriously wrong with this vessel and I don't mean the electronics. You see the look in everyone's eyes. No one's sleeping right. And nobody will talk about it. Jorge saw something in the air, ducts. But he won't say what. All I know is that he looked more perturbed than usual. Ooh, what did he saw? I've seen something too, Cap. I don't even... I can't even explain. Something unspeakable in the shadows. Ah. Some... that something is hunting me now. Um, two, right? So let's go to tech. Yes, please. Okay, I'm out of keys. Okay, everything is offline. Oh, okay. It was small. Smaller than a necromorph. And yet? I'm terrified. Wanna know why? I don't have my trusty plasma cutter with me. Okay, one, two. One, two. I need three, right? Uh, that one is offline. Oh, that one. It's gonna show me the codes for that uh, other locker in medical. Okay, mine.
Okay, uh, most of the terminals have gone offline again, Cap. And one of two have shut down completely. Everyone's dumping on me. But what can I do? I still think something is getting into the wirings. Oh, this is from Rico Hernandez again. I tried to get Jorge to look at it, but he's too busy trying to keep the LSS going and he's so stressed he yells at me if I talk to him. Okay. Okay, tensions are flaring. Everyone is not themselves anymore. We got only three terminals operational on and online and now terminal 7 has powered down too. I've managed to set up an auxiliary power rig but we're short of cell. I had to loan one to the med room last week. Would you get Jorge to collect it and hook it up when he has time? He won't pay me any head. Oh sorry. <laughs> not head. Not head. He won't pay me any heed. <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter. You can take it from the med locker directly. Don't want Doc won't mind. The code is 1234. Huh. Yeah, I know, but Doc asked me to make it simple. Yeah, that is simple. Okay, that's two. We need to get the power cell from the Doc's office and then plug it in and that other terminal would fire up. I'm seriously concerned. Oh, where is this from? Captain Aaron Dravid to Dr. Hari Sharma. I am seriously concerned about the way things are going. The ship's practically falling apart around us. I can't risk this anymore. Yeah, you're in space. You should really do something about that. I've told Nia to put out an SOS signal and to flag down the first passing ship. I know that this will result in all kinds of trouble with the GIS, those ruthless bastards. They'll try to pin a failed run on us, accuse us of pulling an insurance scam and then hammer us with fines, but that's okay. I'm not going to risk the lives of my people. And then there's the other stuff. Manu hasn't left his room in two days, and the others are rattled and on edge. I don't care what this is. Collective hysteria, lock, lock and syndrome, what matters is that the incidents, I don't know what else to call it, are growing more frightening. There can be no more denying it. Something is in here with us and it means us great harm. Oh, that was it? Okay. More jump scares? Is my character gonna survive and report his findings or am I just going to be another victim of this monster? Okay. I should have just tried it on the first time. Yeah, with this games, I always try 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. But right now, I don't know why I didn't try it. 1, 2, 3, 4. So future me, <laughs> try it again before anything else. If it doesn't work, go. Oh, hi, hello, who are you? Um, uh, but, uh, um, the alien looks human, though. Okay. I Oh, hi, hello. Okay, more jump scares. I'm guessing, um, whatever it is in the, um, power core turned the crew into monsters. Okay, okay, okay. I found the crew! Okay, there we go. No one's gonna disturb me while I read this? Good. Yes, please. Okay, okay. That happened. Next. Hey, what secrets do you have for me? This is from Jorge Cherian to Captain Aaron Dravid again. Oh wait, um, the other one was Rico Hernandez. This is Jorge. Boss, I think the engines are getting affected now. Did you feel that hitch an hour ago? It's fucking crazy. And did Nia tell you about comms? 
I'll let her give you the bad news herself. I don't think we're going to get that SOS out. Also, you need to talk to Rico, boss. He's getting on my nerves. Keeps asking me to check every damn duct on the ship, and I already got my hands full. Also, why did you let him alter the security protocols on every damn door? He's turned off Biorec and switched to the physical access keycards. Like we're back in the 22nd century. Jesse wants no one anywhere without a physical card on their person. This is causing havoc. I've already misplaced the access key to my room somewhere. I think I left it at the showers. Now I need to waste more time finding the damn thing. Also, have you seen Manu anywhere? Oh, is Manu the one? Did he got turned first? He's not in his room and Doc said he shouldn't be wandering around because he's on pretty strong meds. If you see him, tell him Doc's looking for him urgently. Thanks. Okay. Manu? Please don't kill me. Manu? Don't. Don't even think about it, okay? Did you kill everyone in the ship? I'm guessing you did. Yes, please. Oh, hi. Hey, Yo. Uh, out of that ship. Mm -hmm. If you're seeing this, listen. We tried to locate the crew. We put out a bulletin at every system in this sector, but we came up empty. We traced the course of the tavern, and not a single vessel rendezvoused with it since it left Nagari. Mm -hmm. It looks like the crew never left the ship. I've requested Debt 2 to take over this investigation. This isn't a data ops mission anymore. Abort and head to the nearest airlock. There should be one by the bridge or down in the cargo bay. Okay. Listen. There's something else. I've looked up records on this ship, and here's where things get really strange. I don't like- Oh! Yes, this isn't the first time there's been an incident. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I don't like the sounds of that. What kind of alien is this? Interfering with comms? Dude! What the heck? Okay, wing A. And I'm gonna go down there. Towers. I'm not gonna go in there. Oh wait, isn't there a key card in there? But it's the bathroom. It's the death area. Shut it, door. Oh crap. Okay, there's a key card here. Nope. No, no, no shit. No. God, someone's dead in here. Hi. Hello. You're gonna kill me? Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, we got a bit of a doom bathroom jump scares scene there. Mm-hmm. Uh, another bathroom. Can I get in? No, I can't. Because of that? Seriously, that thing is stopping me? Offline, offline. Okay. Um, is this the key card that I got? Yes. Oh no, it's not. I know, I know. I'm guessing it's broken. So I'm guessing I need to get um, a key card from that place and then open this thing and I'll get a key card there and they'll open the other door. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, there are two rooms here that I can access. Um. Okay, you first. I'm in. Okay, how can a person go missing in a confined vessel in boundless interstellar space? We searched every corner of this skirt ship and there's no trace of Manu. Okay, he's the monster that's been hunting me. He had grown more withdrawn over the last few days. When I visited him the day before, I noticed a smell about him. It wasn't just the stench of an unwashed body, but something lower. An animal smell of desperation. He stared past me and into the corridor when I tried to talk to him. None of the escape pods have deployed. They're not even operational now, so he has to be on this ship. Except he isn't. I see the raw panic in the eyes of the others. Some of them are urging me to turn the ship around, but the state is in. We're not going to make it back. Mia is working on getting the SOS out, but Comp isn't, isn't fully operational. Yet, more troubles. We're going to do everything we can to find Manu. He has to be here. Meanwhile, the sightings are getting more frequent. The nature of the encounters more horrific. What have those things done to Manu? Where have they taken him? For I have no doubt in my mind that they are responsible. I can sense a growing malevolence, a kind of hunger. God help us. I have given standing instructions to the crew. Until we know how to deal with them, if you see one of those things, run. Do not engage. Turn away and run. Oh God. But how can I run? I'm so freaking slow. Oh crap, oh, run, run, uh, it's closed. Hold ship to run. Uh. Uh, Rick, where am I supposed to run to now? Okay. There was a door here, right? I'm gonna check this one first. I have a key card. Do you need a key card? Okay, I have a key card or crypto key. The door closed in on me. What the heck? Oh boy. Green stuff. Hurrah. What? Oh. Hi. One, two, three, four. <laughs> no, no, no. It won't work a second time. Okay. Rico said he'd seen Manu heading down towards the cargo hold. But we checked, the power grid is almost completely shorted. So there's hardly any light down there. Those horrible sounds seemed louder down there, but no sign of Manu. Oh, so that thing is from the cargo hold, not the power core? I don't really know. I'm still not able to get comms back up, so that SOA isn't looking likely. I can't seem to isolate the problem. Who is this? Nia Glassy. Okay. The electronics check out okay, but all we're getting is static. It just doesn't seem to make sense. Everyone's seeing those things now, and the encounters are more violent. Jorge thinks they're coming through the vents, but I'm not sure. They seem to appear out of thin air. There's something else. Just before comms went down, I got a message back from my contact at the GIS. I just saw it now. It's the record of the ship's history. You'd requested. I'm pouring over them and I'll send you a summary shortly. You're not going to believe what I found. Oh crap! Am I going to have to run again? RUN! Ah! 
Run! How can this is just walking very fast? This is not running. Ah, uh, ew. More of those goop stuff. Hello? Yes? Okay, key extracted. Okay, the final message, I think. Okay, from the captain. Whatever little chance we had of getting this system back is gone with Rico. He died? The engines are dead, the nav systems are shot, and we're coasting. Heading off course, with comes down, we're incommunicado. We can't even get the escape pods operational. Now that Rico's missing, I want you to do everything you can to keep life support system running until we can find a way off the ship. Riku had the key to get to the LSS room. It should be in his locker along with his spare power cell. Get the key and the power cell and head to the 4 LSS room and try to get at least one terminal going. Since the trouble started, Riku moved to room 3 in wing B. He didn't want to be near Manu's old room. He had handed over all the codes to me yesterday, just in case his locker code is 9971. Jorge, be careful. Dang it. 9971, okay. It's not this one. RUN! I'm running for- it's not really running. This is so freaking slow to be a run. What am I in a heavy astronaut suit? I'm running like that. Will that door open for me? No! Uh, what was that? Uh, nine one seven. Uh, fuck. Uh, view journal log. Um, nine nine seven. It's nine nine seven one. What do you mean? Nine nine oh seven one. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. Where was he? Can I go through here? It's right there. Okay, okay. Just stay calm. There's a bunch of ring around the rosies here. Okay. I am seriously on edge here. This is pure genius. It combined the elements of um, Subnautica, Dead Space, and... And, um, what do you call this? Uh, uh, amnesia. Uh, did I already say that amnesia? I think I already said amnesia. Okay. One terminal operational. Yes, please. Injecting wire mining booting. So, what kind of animation would it look like if we get me? Okay. I got away, but I'm trapped in the med bay. Doc's not here. I hope to God he's okay. We haven't found Rico yet. I have no idea where the others are. I last saw Jones and uh, Summit in the maintenance hall an hour ago. Okay, who's this? Nia. But no word from them since. So about those records, I learned that the ship was purchased from BT in 2095, uh, 2395 by the Tones systems. The Tones, if you remember, were part of a rebel movement out of the Paxis belt for nearly half a century. They invaded and conquered dozens of worlds on the outer edge of the belt. Their government was theocratic. They followed a creed that espoused rigid social 
segregation based on gen- 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 genetics, they believe that once genes, or rather specific codes in our genomes, define one's worth and place in society. Um, okay, so there's a zombie here, a T virus. You know how I feel about that genetics, race, eugenics. It's all the same, just another instrument that humans have used since the dawn of time to oppress and exploit others. The ideology is a thin cover for profit. Every member of the Tone society and their colonies, every man, woman, and child, were put into social order and the lowest strata was the slave. The Tone subjected their slaves to all manner of atrocities. The slave had their wills and bodies broken. They were not allowed to marry but were instead bred. Generations were born into bondage. Despite pressure from the center, the Tones refused to give up their devastating enterprise. Before the Gaurat Wars vanquished their government, they had enslaved and sold thousands across the stars. This vessel, the ISS Travan, was a slaver ship. Oh, crap. Its cargo bay, a slave hold. Its purpose was to carry its ill-fated cargo across interstellar space for trade and profit. Oh, crap. So you mean to tell me that in the cargo hold there was a genetically modified human? Or a slave? Okay. After the war and the decimation of the Toan government, the Travan disappears off record for a time. It reappears nearly a decade later. It had been sold for a pittance to off-world merchants traders who renovated it and used it for interplanetary cargo runs. Over the years, the ship changed hands frequently, often abruptly. There are records of it being abandoned briefly at, at salvage docks to be scrapped, and there are other stories, whispers of bizarre incidents, crew abandonment, illness, illnesses, deaths. The crew before us did a single run before they sold it to a N-tier dealership, which then sold it to Navo. Navo made a killing on the deal, and now. And that's how we're here. But there's more, sir. Something far worse. During its slavery era, an incident occurred on the ship so horrific that I could find nothing about it in official GIS records. My contact dug it out off the wire. I'll tell you more about it when I meet you at the bridge. Shit. Shit. Ah, crap! It's. Nope! I'm getting out of here alive, and you're not gonna turn me mad, okay? Access! Let's get out of here! There he is. Uh, do I have one? Okay, I need one crypto key. Oh crap. I need to go to the mess hall. Dude. Dude, don't freaking eat me! Dude! Hello? Oh, uh, uh, wasn't I actually supposed to touch him? Okay, okay. Um, but, um, um, where am I supposed to go? He has a key card that I need. Run, 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 run. Okay, okay, that was it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, just don't get near him. 
He's radioactive or something. There's something in here though. Soup? Ooh. Ah, looks rotten. Dang it, I'm a bit hungry now. What did I get? I don't know. So, I'm guessing that something in this ship is altering my genetic coding and I need, really need to get out of here. Okay. But you guys saw that, right? The crew is here. Okay, I can't reach Jones and Summit any longer. We're down to just four people now. I can't make it to the bridge. Who's this? Nia. There are too many of those things now. Okay, what? The dock's gone too. I haven't been able to reach anyone over the local networks in ours. I'm not sure where you are or if you'll even see this. The thing that happened on the ship during its uh, Toan era may have been bearing on what we are going through just before the war during a run about 120 slaves broke free from the holding cells below and charged into the upper decks they overpowered and killed two crew members and were making for the bridge when the crew sealed the primary doors and trapped them in the bridge hall the captain then authorized pumping Q11A6 nerve gas, long band, into the decks. The slaves were already weak from the drugs used to sedate them and their meager rations. The nerve gas paralyzed them and decimated the uprising. As retribution and to set an example, the crew flayed the slaves to an inch of their lives, slashed and seared their bodies, and then hewed off noses and lips and ears. They were then thrown still alive into bats of acid fertilizer in the hole. Ooh. KL12, a bile green amalgamate used in off worlds for soil prep. They died slow, agonizing deaths down in the dark. The ship returned to its home world. There were no charges made against the crew, instead, they were lauded for quelling an uprising, and the incident was wiped. From official records so you mean to tell me I'm facing ghosts now the Gurat war followed a few years later and we now know the rest the Toans were crushed and the ship disappeared for nearly a decade it was likely used to ferry weapons and soldiers for the war effort at the time captain there are forces at work here beyond our ability to understand. These walls have seen too much blood. This vessel should never fly again. In case I don't see you again, I'd like to tell you that you did all you could. It has been an honor to serve you. I'm facing ghost. Ghost on a spaceship. Hot damn. That's a notion. Override, please. Okay, don't interact with them. Okay, the bridge. Crap. Cargo hold. Oh, God. We're gonna go to the cargo hold? Seriously? Ah, it's, it's, it's that SAP thing. We're going into hell. Oh no, we're right over here. Okay. Okay. I hear the voice of the damned. I will survive this thing.
Okay. To whoever sees this, they're all gone. Jorge, Rico, Doc, Ian, Jones, Summit, Vasu, Manu, Nia. Their names ring in my head like that chance. Their faces are ever in my mind. I could not save them, though I should have been able to. We've fallen through a chink in space and time. We've slipped into a netherworld where the past and present have somehow collided. Where the dead do not rest and the living are made ghosts. There are no explanations for what has happened here except that sometimes history is a dead weight that burdens the living. We pay for the past though we have raised neither fist nor whip to the dead. We must look all the same. I'm going to keep looking for them down here. Jorge, Rico, Doc, Ian, Jones, Samut, Vasu, Manu, Nia. And if I can't find them, I'm going to try to make it to Eva Airlock at the end of the cargo hold too. If I get out, I'll find a way to have this ship destroyed. Let this vessel and whatever walks in it be buried forever. Captain Aaron Dravid, ISS Trevan. Am I gonna find your corpse in here? Shit! Oh crap! It's chasing me! <laughs> Yeah, fuck you! No, nope, I'm not gonna die here. I'm not gonna die here. Shit! Ow! It's messing with me mind. Ouch! Uh, uh, no! Yes, please. Access granted. Yes. Freak you, freak you all. Okay, um, 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 there's nothing in here though. Oh, access key card. Okay, okay. Are they gone? You better be gone because I highly doubt. Okay. Jesus Christ, I'm walking so slow. Okay, where am I supposed to go from here? Enough! You're all dead! Let me through! Oh. Oh, hi! Hello! Nope! 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 I'm not gonna look at you. Slenderman rules! Slenderman rules! Slender man rules. Don't look at them. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Ah! Don't mess with my freaking head. Okay, okay. I saw a light here. I'm gonna follow the. Fr ah! Ow, ow. My last few brain cells. Stop it. Wabam. Did I make it? Am I dead? Oh, I made it! Ah! Hey, pretty! I hope you're okay. Yeah. Debt 2 officers will arrive on the scene soon. Uh huh. I just saw the messages you obtained from the ship's networks. Uh huh. I've sent them over to the labs. None of it makes sense for now, but it should help us bring closure to this investigation. You just destroy the ship. Well done. Blow it up. A week after your mission, the ISS Traven is deregistered by the GSIS and transported to an orbital scrap processor for destruction. Blow it to Kingdom Come! Its crew were never found. That was an interesting story. Ghost on a spaceship. The end. Well done, well done. That was a very good game. Well done indeed, well done. Sorry my face keeps getting in the way. I really liked it. No seriously, I really like this game. 
I like the mechanic of um, getting keys from terminals and then getting uh, notes as well. Because most of the time, that's the uh, go-to formula of most indie horror games. Grab keys, read notes, find the exit. I also like that it took elements I liked from Dead Space, which is, of course, aliens. And then from Amnesia, having to sneak around. Well, actually, we didn't sneak around. Um, we just tried to avoid it, the enemies because their touch could kill us. And the sense of dread from Subnautica. That you're exploring a ship, but you keep thinking that there's something that's gonna get you. So yeah, controls were good. The story was very good, very interesting. Uh, the ambience was mm, top-notch. And the graphics was really cool as well. I like it, so crispy and so shiny. So if you want to play this game for yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description below as always. And that's all the time I have for this video. If you want more contests like this, give me subs, give me likes, and give the bell or ring the nuts. And I'll see you seaters in my next video. Bye bye for now.